So I received a request to show how you can save a NetCDF uh, as a CSV file in R. And so that's what this video is going to be about. It's actually a really easy thing to do, so it should be a pretty short video. Um, so here we are, we're in R Studio. The first thing I'm going to do um, is just clear my environment. I like to do this at the beginning of each script I write. Uh, just to make sure everything is clear. So I'm going to hit Control Enter to run that. And then I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a library. I'm going to use the raster library. Uh, if you haven't installed the raster library, uh, use install.packages to do that. And I just hit Control Enter to run that. You'll see over here in my console the commands that I'm running. OK, so we've got the library raster loaded. And what we're going to do um, is make a raster brick. We'll call it nc.brick. And we're just going to go brick file.choose. And let's run that. And that'll pop this open to choose this file. Now I have this um, SCPDSI 2017 4 prism. Uh, this is included with the GitHub repository. Uh, that repository is linked to my website, and there will be a, a link to the website tutorial once this is up on YouTube. Um, so file.choose allows me to choose this. I'll open that file. I've got nc.brick. So if I pull this up, we can look at the variables. Um, you can see it's a class of raster brick. Um, so once I'm at this point, Let's just go over, well, let's just, we can do it here. We'll do dim, so this gives us dimensions of nc.brick. And you can see our dimensions there. It's got one layer, uh, 621 rows, 1,405 columns. And so what I can do now is I can make a data frame out of this brick. So we'll name this nc.df. And what we want to do is do as.data.frame and nc brick. We just want the first layer. And then um, we wanted to add this xy equals t equals true. And so that will give us the xy coordinates. So let's go ahead here and hit control enter and that has run and so then we'll next we'll come down and just to see what things look like we'll type head nc.df control enter and we can see here that we have this variable x42838 that's going to be uh, the variable you want that's related to that layer and so now we have that in a data frame. And once we have things in a data frame, it's really easy to save them. So then we can do write CSV, and we want to write uh, nc.df, and we're going to do file.choose. OK, so now let's. Uh, run this and I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to name it out.csv oh sorry um, I'm doing the wrong thing here I'm doing file.choose sorry about that um, we can't use file choose we have to be able to uh, overwrite the file if we use file.choose it won't create a new one for us um, so let me just go ahead and we'll open this up here and I'll get the file path for us. And code R. I'm just going to create a new uh, file in here. And we'll name this out.csv. Yes. And then let's go here and we'll run this line of code. And then I can select out.csv, open, and you can see it's writing here. Um, 
So we're still running. This might take a minute because it's a pretty big file. So I'm just going to stop this and restart it once. Oh, we're finished now, so I'm not going to have to stop it. Good deal. Um, now let's do a couple things first. So first, let's make sure we have data in our nc.df. So the way I'll do this is I'll do max nc.df and I'll select that variable column um, and na.rm equals t. And you can see I have a value there. Now let's just check the, the min and the mean because they should be different. Okay, and we have a negative value. And let's just check the mean. We have a value close to one. Okay, so it looks like we have data there. That's good. Now the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do test equals read CSV file dot choose. Um, let's run this. And I'm going to open this CSV. And it's reading in. It'll take just a minute to read that in. Okay, and once that reads in, I also want to test this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and, and run the same code here. So this should be test, test, and it should have the same variables, and I get the same mean value. So it looks like everything ran correctly, and that is how you can test your, or not test, but how you can save a net CDF as a CSV.